Lauren here. So it's the second last day of 2016 and I don't know about you guys, but I'm really happy it's going to be over really soon. Just about from what I've heard from everybody, at least from my perspective, 2016 has sucked and if you're one of those people, I 100% agree with you. This was just not my year. I've had a ton and ton of downs, but I was also really lucky enough to have some good moments as well. I just wanted to take the time to reflect on 2016 Try to focus on those good moments and this year off on a good note, so let's get started. As I said, there were a ton of downs for me this year. I was kind of stuck in a job where I used to love it, but it was slowly dragging me down now. I felt lost, I didn't know where my life was headed, and as well, I just dealt with a lot of anxiety, which is something I didn't have to really deal with until this year. For a long time, I was really stuck in a place where I wasn't happy, I didn't want to work, I didn't know how to make my life dreams come true, and I was just so stressed out and anxious that I felt like I was sort of in self-destruct mode. I was taking it out on everybody, I was just so lost. But luckily, I feel like now, at this point in my life, I'm sort of out of that phase, or at least working towards getting out of it. The bad was definitely emotion-based. I'm just hoping that next year in 2016, I can put all of this behind me and focus on being happy and not being anxious and stressed out all the time because for me, I just want to live my life to the fullest and be super happy. 2016 wasn't all that bad of a year. I was lucky enough to have a few good moments I can look back on. For me, traveling is always a huge part of my life and I was so lucky that I was able to go traveling three times this year. I always work super hard throughout the year to save all my money so I'm able to take these trips and live my life to the fullest. In April, I was lucky enough to go back to London, but this time with my dad. And the whole reason for this trip was to go see my favorite band, Bring Me The Horizon, perform with an orchestra at Royal Albert Hall. Now I know it sounds crazy that I went back to London just to go see a band. This is probably what I usually do every year. But for me, looking back on it, I am so happy I went. This was at a point in my life where I was really struggling, I feel like and just going there made me super happy. The show was such a lifetime experience for me. Um, I will never forget it. I'm actually in the DVD. If you haven't watched it yet, I am in there a few times, so I'm super excited about that. But it was also really fun just to go to London with my dad again. It was great. In either June or July, I can't really remember which one, I actually went on my very first trip alone to VidCon in Anaheim. If you guys don't know what VidCon is, it is pretty much a YouTube convention. This is something I've always wanted to go to, and since I love YouTube and hope to make this a career one day, I kind of wanted to go to learn more and how I can improve my videos and reach out to more of you guys. But my favorite part of this trip definitely had to be going to Disneyland with my sister, who was in California at the time. We've never gone to Disneyland, so getting to do that together for the very first time was really great and I think the best way to experience Disneyland. And lastly in August, a week after I quit my job that wasn't making me happy, I decided I needed to go somewhere alone, be by myself, and just relax a little bit. This was definitely a turning point for me because before this trip I was really struggling, I was unhappy, but I found myself again on the beach in Brighton, which was just a great experience. If you've never been, you need to go to Brighton. But for me, England made me happy again. I always am happy there, so that's why I decided to go. And being there alone was really good for me, I feel like. And this was the turning point for me this year and it helped me going in the right direction, I think. Another good thing that happened this year was that I finally went back to school after graduating from high school three years ago. I know that sounds like a very long time to be away from it, but honestly, this was what I needed. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I needed to gain some life experiences, and I needed to work on myself a little bit so I could figure out what it is I actually wanted to do. In August, I discovered a marketing program that focused on social media, and the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this is something I could be really good at, so I applied, and I actually just finished my first semester there, and we'll be going back in January, and I hope to have this program completely finished by this time next year. I'm really happy doing this, and I actually found something I'm really good at, so hopefully I can get it done super fast. And my favorite thing that happened this year definitely had to be the fact that I got my corgi puppy Oliver. He's so much bigger than the last time you guys saw him. He's about six months now, and weighs 20 pounds. I'm so happy I have him in my life, he makes me so happy and honestly has cut down my anxiety by so much. He's such a sweet little angel. He loves playing and he loves eating and cuddling too still. Um, he's also become my little shadow always following me and can never be that far away from me. I just love him so much. He's a little devil these days, but that's okay. He stole my puppy. 2016 wasn't the greatest year, but I hope that means 2017 is going to be so much more amazing. I hope I can travel again, finish school, and just continue taking steps into my full adult life. What was your favorite moment from 2016? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you visit my website livelauren.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. 
I make a video every Friday. I'll see you guys next week and make sure you have a safe and fun Happy New Year.